You're listening to What's Hot on NCCU Audio. It is What's Hot with Shamai Cook. I am Shamai Cook. I got my guest co-host, Stephanie Jean Francois in the building. How you doing? And we got a special guest in the building. We got Mr. Trust, the board of trustees, Mr. James Mitchell in the building. How you doing, Mr. Mitchell? I'm doing extremely well. Thank you for this opportunity. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for coming on today. How are you? I'm doing extremely well, and, and we have had our committee meetings earlier this morning, but I think it's a great opportunity just to share from a board of trustee why I'm so passionate about the university we love called North Carolina Central University. First first and foremost, you came all the way from Charlotte. Yes, that's, sir. That's number one. We appreciate you for doing that. Uh, and uh, we'll figure out the, the, the headphone situation in a minute. Um, and you know, I want to first ask, ask about the, you are a proud alumni of NCC proud as, alumni. as proud, well. Proud graduate 1985. You, you, yes, I'm, I'm glad you, you, you're you proud to say <laughs> the year. A lot of people are not proud to say the year. Uh, you are an alumni, like I said, um, in, in NCCU. Uh, talk about your experience as a student here at NCCU um, when, you were, when you were a student here. Well, you know, and that's why I love the university so much. They took a young guy from Charlotte, North Carolina, who who was intimidated, didn't know a lot about leadership, and North Carolina Central faculty and student body made me the leader I am today. So I'm fortunate enough to be on Charlotte City Council, where I represent over 879,000 citizens in the 14th largest city in America. Wow. And my leadership skills was developed on the grounds of here at NCCU. So I got involved in the yearbook staff. Mm. I was a member of the Young Democrats, a member of NAACP, Pledge of Mega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, and then we started then uh, a social group called the Charlotte's Finest Club. Wow. So those of Charlotte can come together, network, and and we help one another. So I'm always going to be in there. And so when the chancellor called me about serving the board of trustees, I was elated with opportunity to give back to my university. Oh, uh, major, major props. Uh, Stephanie, you got any questions? Yes, I do. So what is one of the reasons you became a trustee member? Well, I think Stephanie, for me, was the opportunity that someone said, how can we use your network? How can we use your skills, your passion for the university uh, to better North Carolina State University? So I'm kind of concentrating on three aspects. One, I want every student here, Stephanie, Brother Cook, have a great experience. Why? Mm -hmm. Because I want you to graduate. I want you to have a big impact and fly high in corporate America or be an entrepreneur. But then I want you to give back to this university to be alumni. Exactly, I'm, I'm a big fan that sports create excitement among uh, the student body. And so you look how we went to Atlanta two years ago, won the HBCU football yep. championship, and then that translated to having the largest freshman class ever in the school history. Yeah. And thirdly, more importantly, I'm focused on building your facilities. I'm so glad to see the Baines Hall is coming down because when I was here in 1980, 1985, Baines Hall was considered a luxury dormitory. Oh, really? And so I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> it was an all-girls dorm back in the day. That's what I heard. Yeah, and then, though, but, but Baines had a great reputation. Okay, and so, good. Stephanie, the third part of my passion is to grow our facilities and, and to make sure that you students, you love NCCU much as I do. Mm, definitely. Uh, how did you get into being a city council in, in Charlotte, back in the Queen City? Oh, Brother Cook, so uh, back when I moved back, I went to Canton, Ohio, first job out of graduate from North Carolina Central, I was a computer science major, mm, okay. and General Electric hired me, so I spent four years in Canton, Ohio, then I relocated back to Charlotte. And I got involved in the community. I was mentoring. I, I, I was uh, making sure people had computer skills. And so a young man saw me and said, hey, have you ever thought about being a politician? My first, first response was no. Uh, and then he said, let me mentor you. Mm -hmm. So lesson one to everyone who's listening, find a mentor. Someone can guide you and provide that wisdom. And so being mentored for two and a half years, then I decided it was time for me to run for Charlotte City Council. And God is good. I've been blessed to serve the city City of Charlotte over 24 years now. Oh, oh, oh go ahead, go ahead, Stephanie. Okay. Um, as you stated, you're a member of Omega Sci Fi Fraternity. Uh oh, at shout out to Tall Side Chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, how do you believe that you have um, represented them through the community and as a trustee? Uh, Stephanie, great. So I think I need to model the right behavior of Omega Sci Fi Fraternity. We believe in giving back. 
through uh, Charles, through Blood Drive. We believe in mentoring. So I spend a lot of time mentoring high school students. Mm. And I'm proud to say about four of them are attending North Carolina Central University right now. Wow. And third but not least, uh, I want to make sure that I uphold, uh, uphold manhood, scholarship, perseverance, uplift. Four Cotton of Principles are so dear to our fraternity. And it was Tallside Chapter when I pledged in spring 82 that someone told me that I was a leader. And I went on to become the, the editor of North Carolina City Yearbook in 1984. Mm. Yeah, uh, you go, yeah, you can ask that question. Right you now. also created a program for the black youth in Charlotte community called Next Leather, Next Level Leadership. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What was it that inspired you to create it? So, Stephanie, I realized each one to reach one. And as I was uh, getting a little w more wisdom on Charlotte City Council, I needed to pass baton to somebody. And I thought it was very important that I develop the next leaders in the city of Charlotte. So next level leadership, we are now class number six. And I founded an organization to develop African-American leadership skills. I'm unintentional, unapologetic black. And so I want mm. us to know that we have different leadership styles and different leadership skills that need to be developed. And next level leadership, we are accomplishing that goal. So I'm very proud of our success as we continue to develop the new black leadership in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes, we're still here with uh, trustee member, uh, Mr. Uh, James Mitchell. Uh, you know, the NCCU, you know, uh, Dr. Johnson Owakinle just yes. announced that he will be retiring, uh, and that creates a new search for a new chancellor. Yes, sir. How is the new search for um, a new NCCU chancellor going? So far, it's going very well. We have had like three or four listening mm -hmm. listening session with our alumni, mm -hmm. headed by national alumni president. Now we starting to say now starting to have individual groups among alumni chapters. And now for the first time tomorrow that the Board of Trustees will get a whole timeline when we think we can select and have a new chancellor of North Carolina Central University from the, uh, probably from the July time frame. And so I think this is a great opportunity, right, to get feedback of what type of leader we would like going forward and to build upon some of the things that Chancellor Accolade has done. I've been a strong advocate of his, how he's developed new facility for us, mm -hmm. mixed use development. Yeah. And so I would like for the new chancellor, he or she to come in with the same enthusiasm and passion to make North Carolina Central the best school it can become. Ab absolutely. You know, how do you think uh, Chancellor Accolade will be remembered here? Y'all know you just mentioned, you know, the infrastructure yes. that he approved uh, through his administration, but how, when it comes to cultural wise, how do you think he'll, he'll be remembered as the Chancellor of North Carolina? Central University. I think I think there's two things. One, Brother Cook, I think one is the facility, the brick and mortar. But I think secondly, when you look at our research dollars and our funding, mm -hmm. North Carolina Central has done extremely well. And we got a report today, I giving for the first time is north of 10%. Mm. When Accolade came, I giving was around 3%. We got a report today, we are 169 oh, So wow. thank you for the alumni for giving. And so I do think that will be a trademark of his legacy. Uh, when it comes to, you know, NCCU in the future, how, yes. how do you feel NCCU will become one of the greatest campuses, not just in North Carolina, but amongst HBCUs? I, I, and I like how you said that. I, I, I can't stand when people say, well, you are the best school in Durham. We don't try to be the best HBCU in Durham. We try to be the best HBCU in the nation. And so I do think about our student experience. When people will walk on this campus, they were talking about how we prepare them for great careers. We prepare them for entrepreneurship. We prepare them to give back in the community. We prepare them to be more role models. And secondly, you know, more research dollar. I want people to look at the NCCU as a solution or in a university for the future. So someone who find a cure for cancer will come from North Carolina Central mm, University. Yeah. Someone who make the top 10 black entrepreneur will come from North Carolina Central University. That's what I want NCCU to be remembered mm. for in the future. Go ahead, Stephanie. Okay. So speaking about, you know, college career and college experience, mm -hmm. if you could give us one advice for our college experience, what would you give us? So I would say, Stephanie, put Push yourself out, out of your comfort zone. Mm. It's so easy to, to, to come to school and you have the same group of friends. You do the things you normally do. But college is about growth. And so I would encourage you to get out your comfort zone. If you're afraid to speak, take speaking classes. If economics is not your strong suit, learn from someone who can help you get the economic skills. So push yourself out of the comfort zone. And last but not least, Stephanie, 
please find a mentor, someone that can guide you. It's been so successful for me to have a mentor in my life. How important is mentorship? Oh, on a scale of zero to ten, it's a fifteen, brother Cook. Mm. Uh, we, we don't we don't have success in our life by ourselves, and I hope that everyone have a spiritual component of their life. Whether you you go to church, you pray every day, you read your Bible, spirituality is very important. And then there's mentoring, someone who you can call, you can trust, and that they have your best interests for you mm. and and that's why i think mentoring is so important what okay last question what's next for nccu and what's next for you what's next for nccu is find another great leader that can lead our university going forward what next for me is to continue to recruit high talented young minds mm -hmm. that will come to north carolina central university and i'm fortunate enough to give their their degree when they walk across that stage, a member board of trustee. Thank you so much. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, yes. I got to say. Yes. Can I get an ego pride? Amplified. That's thank, what I'm thank, talking thank about. You, thank you so much. Uh, it's Mr. James Mitchell here on What's Up, the trustee member of NCCU. We'll be right back. Up next is the hot question of the day. It's What's Up, What's Your Mind Cook? You're listening to What's Hot on NCCU Audience.